Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah halal family Welcome to the channel you beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys we'll be reacting to a video titled The Rules of Snooker This video was suggested by uh, Durian B Gaming and Media Terima kasih. Thank you very much for your kind uh, suggestion The video is by Nin Lai And the link is in the description In case you guys wanted to check it out So without further ado guys Then explains let's get started this the video. rules of snooker The object of the game the is for you to win more frames snooker. than your opponents Snooker is a game that's usually played between two people, Ooh, and to win a frame, what you a must score more points shot. than your opponent. Ooh. To score, you must use a wooden cue to hit a white ball, known as a cue ball, into a coloured ball, and for that ball to go into any of the pockets on the table. Wow! This is known as potting the ball. The table is roughly 12 feet by 6 feet, and the amount of points vary depending on the colour of the ball being potted. The 15 red balls wow. on the table are worth 1 point each. The yellow ball is worth okay. 2 points, the green ball 3 points, okay. the brown ball 4 points, the blue ball 5 points, the pink ball 6 points, and the black ball is worth a maximum of 7 points. Wow. In really snooker, cool. I didn't know the rules stipulate stuff. that you must hit a red ball on the table. If you manage to pot a red ball, you are then given a free choice to pot a different coloured ball to add more points to your total score. If wow. you successfully potted a colour ball after a red, oh. you score the relevant number of points and the coloured ball is put back onto the table. The entire process mm. begins again and you'll be allowed to try and get another red ball into one of the pockets. If at any time you fail to pot a relevant ball, it is the end of your turn and your opponent will be given the chance to aim for a red ball so that yeah. they can score themselves. Once all the red balls have been potted, you must aim for the rest of the coloured balls in Ooh. ascending order. The highest score after the black ball has been potted wins. Games you usually play wow. to the best of 11, 15 or 17 frames, and winning more frames than your opponent wins you the game. Now that wow. sounds a bit too simple. There's more, isn't there? You guessed it. There's a lot <laughs> of things you cannot do in snooker. You cannot touch any of the balls with anything except your cue. You cannot pop the cue ball, accidentally or otherwise. You cannot hit wow. an incorrect coloured ball out of turn. You cannot hit any of the balls off the table. You cannot hit the cue ball twice in one stroke. And you cannot move a touching ball. These infractions result in a foul and your opponent will be awarded 4 points and the next shot. Fouls can also be awarded four 5, points. 6 or 7 wow. points for fouls involving the blue, pink or black balls respectively. Snooker is a very strategic game and that's basically the rules in a nutshell but there's a few other things you'll need to understand before playing or watching a game. For example, Cannon. A cannon is where a player hits the cue ball to contact more than one ball. This is usually a strategic play to leave the cue ball in a favourable position for the next shot. Touching Ball. If the cue ball is touching another touching. ball, the referee will call Touching Ball. You must play your next shot without moving this ball, otherwise a foul will be called against you. Snooker. Wow. You can strategically hit the cue Snooker. ball to make it difficult for your opponent to hit the next required ball. Mm. When a ball is blocking a shot to the next required ball, this is known as being snookered, and makes the next shot very wow. difficult for your opponent. <sighs> foul and a miss. That was a nice shot too. If a player fouls and fails to hit the required coloured ball, the opponent will be awarded like 4 points or more, and has wow. free choice to play the next four shot points. where the ball lies, or have the balls reset to their previous positions Ooh, and make the offending player try that shot again. Free ball. Wow. If a player fouls and leaves the cue ball in a snookered position, he is eligible to declare a free ball. He can pot any coloured ball and will only score one point for it. However, he will retain the next shot, wow. so this is usually that was a strategic a play to stay shot. On all the way from the end and he got it. Conceding. Crazy. If a player does not think that he has a realistic chance to win the frame, or realizes that there isn't enough points on the table to get a win, the player can concede defeat and a new frame will start. Wow. Conceding is usually done verbally, or That's by awesome. not returning to the table when it's your shot. Maximum break. Mm. The maximum you can huh. score in one trip to the table is 147 points. This involves wow. potting a red, then potting a black, repeating this process 15 times, and then proceeding to pot the colours in order mm. without fouling. If you manage to Makes do sense. this, this is known as a maximum size. break, or a 147, and is the equivalent of a wow. perfect game in 10-pin bowling, or pitching a perfect game in baseball. It's not impossible, just rare. Wow. Snooker is a popular game worldwide, and once you've played or watched a few games, the rules will become clear. 
If you found this video at all nice. helpful, please like. Just really, really cool that I, you know, I have, uh, I played pool, but I've never played snooker and I didn't know the, the rules. So this was pretty interesting how you have to hit a red ball, then a colored ball, and then they bring the red ball back out. Sorry, not the uh, red ball, the color ball back out until I guess you get rid of all the red balls. And then after that, the numbers, uh, the color ball, you have to get them in one by one, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is the black one. And then once the black one is in, whoever has the most amount of point uh, wins the game. So there were some more other rules like the scratch and foul and snookered and all that cool stuff. So uh, it'll be nice because the next time I watch a, a game, a snookers game, at least I'll know uh, what some of uh, these rules are or, or what some of the plays are and, and what's actually happening in the game so really really cool guys thank you very much for suggesting this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and as always thank you thank you very much for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and wassalam